Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. I haven't been on here in a long time. I am on a little staycation with my family. It's my sister-in-law's birthday and we <coughs> excuse me, are staying in a condo which is a rentable condo that's part of their complex where they have their townhouse and we are in West Chase, Florida. I don't have the best angle but this is what I can set up. This is the really nice um, bedroom, master bedroom that my husband and I are staying at. And I thought that I would do my makeup and chat with you. We're going to be going out to a Brazilian steakhouse for dinner. And so I'm going to be chatting while I do some makeup. For those of you that don't follow me on Facebook, you can see that I've cut my hair, actually, had it cut and um, I'm just going with the natural texture for now I don't know how I'm gonna do it for later I don't like that that light is up there but it's really the only big light source in this bedroom the dress I'm wearing is by Old Navy I really like these little uh, flower dresses they're really comfortable and they're stylish and cute all right brought just a few things um, and I don't think I have my lip color in my bag but I have it in my purse so let's get started uh, first thing I want to do and this is kind of how I've been wearing my makeup through the the quarantine pandemic I haven't really been wearing um, foundation because it's just gonna rub off with the mask but I wear concealer and I'm using you as a mirror for close-ups I'll use my little mirror here okay so I basically put it like over here sometimes I use like um, one of the color correctors but I've seemed to lost the one that I really like and that's by Tarte and it comes like in a little square case this is a really good uh, concealer it's fit me by Maybelline sorry about my nail but I have psoriasis and it's decided to go under my nails which is really gross okay I'm going to take a blending brush this is just the good old tried and true uh, real techniques and I'm going to blend this concealer that's just someone coming in the door right now um, they're fixing the air conditioning so that if you hear the repairman sorry about that but I think he's gone now and I have the windows open here for some natural light and cover some of these dark circles as you can see I had posted on Instagram asking if you know people wanted me to make some YouTube videos and I don't like the word come back because I've never really deleted my channel but I haven't recorded in like four months so I thought what a better time to do it than now Plus, I recorded earlier on my phone at home, and it, I can't get it to upload. Now, I'm just taking this press powder, and it is my absolute favorite. It's by Charlotte Tilbury Lover Packaging, and this is in the this is the airbrush air brush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder, and I use it in the color two. This is probably my third package. I'm gonna put a lot on, just like in the areas where I get a little oilier, because in the summertime, I get a little bit oily, especially like in the T-zone. And you can put that on last too, but I just thought I'd put that on. This is another great product I love, and it's by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I didn't bring many brushes because I usually overpack every time we go someplace and this time I just kind of made a conscious effort 
not to. And I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring, a little blush or bronzer, I should say. And for the summertime, I like a little bit of a extra glow, let's say. So how have you all been doing during this time? I think, um, I know it's been really traumatic for a lot of people. It's been really sad for a lot of people. Uh, knock on wood, my family and my friends have all been safe from the COVID and haven't gotten sick. And that makes me very happy. As usual, my voice gets a little raspy, so I need some water. So this has been uh, just a couple of days kind of get away. We only live about less than a half hour away from here, but my sister-in-law, whose birthday was yesterday, came up with the idea of renting one of the condos. This is really nice. It has a three bedroom. We only need two. It has a master and then a really nice, um, like a full size bed in the second bedroom. And then in the third bedroom, it has twin beds. And it's part of a, a nice community where people own and rent so you don't feel like you're at a hotel. And if you're a type of person that likes to cook while you're on vacation, not me, uh, there's a full kitchen. They thoroughly sanitized, like COVID sanitized, uh, the condo between people or guests. And this is just the ELF um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I, I really don't need a lot of brow pencil, but I have a little bit of a gap, like right there. I'll be doing like a favorites video and maybe some things that I haven't really been too happy with, but I'll do that one at home and I'll have better lighting, but this is the best I can do. But I just kind of check in, do a little video see how you are okay I'm gonna do the use the sweet nothings palette by ColourPop really like these pa um, palettes even for like every day it's a nice uh, palette most of the ColourPop palettes I really like there are you can't get kind of hit or miss when it comes to them I need a mirror. That's the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have a mirror back here. But what are you going to do? Just trying to do a fast video anyway because I'm going to get ready to go. Okay, I'm going to use this color Pretty Cruel, which is, sorry about that, right there. Sort of like a slight shimmer to it. They're kind of powdery, but that's okay. And I'm going to put this on my movable lid. That's the lower part right here. A little dash of color. We were swimming in the pool earlier, but it started to rain. So we got out, we waited to see if it was going to clear up, but it didn't. So we came back to the condo and uh, my family went to their townhouse to get ready. And then I'm bringing this up little bit into the crease so after your days like swimming and just relaxing in the sun you don't really feel like putting on a full face of makeup at least I don't I kind of like the way that looks anyway in the sun I mean in the summer now I'm going to use this color here called is it tool tool and it's right here it's like a like like a cool purple and I'm just gonna put it on on the edge over here the outer edge of my eye just for a little definition and the more that my hair is drying I'm probably gonna just leave my natural curl and not dry it not straighten it just leave it 
kind of liking it. I got my hair cut twice since I have made videos. And I, I just love this length. It is a like a choppy layered bob. And then I get like a base and light highlights, which when I go back, I think I'm going to need some more highlights. I'm going to blend that. And the brushes I'm using are just a combination of Morphe. Uh, this is Morphe also. I have a Mac. Um, not used to recording my iPad, so I have to <laughs> move around. This to kind of blend uh, eyeliner if I wish. And the one thing I forgot was my eyelash curler. But we'll make do. We're on vacation, right? Or as they call it, when you travel or when you stay in the state where you live or close to home, a staycation. Now I'm gonna go back in this, to this color here. This is called a, uh, called a, called out of luck. A small brush, small. So like I was saying about makeup, I really just mainly been focusing on, you know, highlighting my eyes I find that if I'm going to put a full face of foundation, once I put a mask on, it's going to rub off. And my skin breathes better without it. So now I'm going to take this um, Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On in Demolition. And it's sort of like a, like a black brown. And instead of putting it like right on my line, lash line, I'm gonna put it on this brush and see if I can do a little liner with that. Just on the tip. I sharpened this one before I left home. But I might have a sharpener in here. No. Really achieved my goal of not bringing a lot cause I tend to be an overpacker and I just didn't want to do that. Little line on the top. Uh, it's not like dark enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the liner. And I like to go like on the sides. And I'm going to go all the way across. And I kind of like go like little doot doot doot. Whatever they call my own language. I'm going to go to the outer corner. Lift it up. And I'm going to kind of angle that to make a little bit of a wing and I'm gonna smudge that too now that's but much better you can see the the eyeliner I think that brush method is good for something like light touch of a of eyeliner but I really wanted the eyeliner to show okay then I'm gonna go back with that I don't know what this is called but it's a MAC 231. You could use it for lips, you can use it as an eyeliner smudger, whatever you want. Uh, I usually use the brushes um, for what a purpose that I feel works the best. Uh, I can use a foundation brush for blush, I can use a bronzer blush, bl bronzer brush for foundation doesn't matter. I don't find it's like breaking any rule. Now I have a little bit of liner. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. And then just going right to the middle. I can't believe this video is already 14 minutes. nice and what you can do is you can go back into your eyeshadow palette pick any of the shades uh, I think I'll go back with this one I used it's called pretty cruel just kind of tap it in there and then go on the bottom it's not bad using the iPad for a mirror I don't know if you can tell like 
in with this camera on here but my skin has really been doing really nice you know it's it's not ultra dry it's not ultra oily it's kind of perfect I like that okay I'm just gonna check that I like it now I'm going to use a mascara this is one I got in a little like a uh, gift package at Ulta a while ago and I just started using it. This is the Maximum Maximum Maximum, maximum Lashes Defining and Lengthening Mascara. And I'm probably going to need a little mirror because I like to look close when I'm putting mascara. And that's a nice wand. So far I like it. It's not like I can't say wow it's the most favorite mascara I've ever used, but it's nice. I want to go to Ulta to get some of the um, Essence Princess Lash, one that comes in the black tube, and then that has, I like the one that has like the green writing, green teal. That is an awesome mascara, and it's like $4.99 or something like that. That's uh, one of those rare cases where it's not how much you pay. You know, you get what you pay for it because it's a really nice price and they have waterproof i used to like waterproof but i'm not really into it too much it, i find that waterproof uh, mascara makes my eyelashes like stick to each other mm, it doesn't look good at least not on me some people have luck with it now i'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom i should use this little mirror and I always tilt the mascara wand. I have just find better luck. And I like the way the, mas the lashes look. There was a long time, like close to a year, where I didn't put any mascara on my bottom lash. Lash line, I should say. And uh, just for kicks a while ago, I was like, oh, I'll try it. And I start putting on again. It smudges a little, but... You know, I love in Florida. It's the, the the humidity in the summer is like crazy. So if it's going to get that way, smudge and just clean it up. That's all. Um, like I said, I wish I had my oh, I have my purse right here. Okay, this is a product that I wanted to show you, and I bought it recently. It's really pretty. My husband loves it on my lips, and if I can find it. This purse I got last year from, um, oh, what is it called? Anthropology. Their stuff is a little pricey, but they have such different things, and I, I love that. Okay, this is by Joet, and I like the company Joet. I haven't had many of their products, but I love their blushes, and this is the first lip product. And to tell you what this is, this is the, hmm, huh, what is that? Believe it or not, I can't read that little bit, and I have readers, like, this is my reading lens. The Essential Something. <laughs> I'll try to put the name down below when I edit, if I can edit this. The color's poppy. Beautiful. And it... It is perfect. For wearing a mask, because... It moistens your lips, and I don't know about you, but during this time where we're wearing masks, and we're probably gonna be wearing a long time, I find my lips get dried out, and it moistens it, moistens it, and I'm always playing with my hair, and it gives such a pretty color. Now you see, put on your mask, I'm just kind of showing you, I like these surgical ones. I like to put some earrings on too. And you still look nice. Eyes are nice and bright. I like it. So I don't need it on in here. For when I go out, wear your mask, people. I think it's very important. And if you aren't agreeing with me, please just, you know, you don't need to be telling me. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, well, I guess I am kind of saying it when I say wear your mask, people. I just believe in them. And anything I can do to help myself and help other people, I'm going to do that. 
so I hope that you're doing great this is like almost 20 minutes um, I'll see you soon back at home and uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more videos for you hope you like my little natural curl believe it or not it didn't get curly hair till I was 30 years old so little known fact take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon bye bye